Okay, I need to check the fuel system now that I've cleaned the carburetor and the strainer. And the strainer connects here and falls its way all over to this shutoff valve here. Um, uh, obviously there's a there was a leak of some sort. Uh, I can tell by the old rag put on here. So this I believe I should just disassemble clean and uh, correct. We don't want gas leaking inside the vehicle here. So um, let me get started on that and see what that where that takes me. Alright, let's take a look inside the gas tank. See if this can focus in there. Uh, it's, it's, it's being challenged trying to get in there. Maybe if I go like this, does it find it? Okay. See if I can view it from the other way here. Spin it around a little bit. Okay. See some corrosion there. Okay, that's a concern. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's where the uh, gas gauge is. Let's take a look here. I can go the other direction here. Not bad. And there's the pickup down there. So again, some sediment there. But, so my only concern is in here, along that panel there. Okay, so, alright. So this is better than expected. Normally, uh, the old gas tanks I've seen on my old Harleys are uh, really really rusty and this seems to be in really good shape all right let's uh, begin by taking off this supply line here and then also I'll loosen this one over here too this one I loosened up already should come off pretty good here there for now and I just want to take a look at this valve here all right let me get a wrench for that and see if I can get that off of there all right I was able to loosen up this valve they must have had some kind of sealer on there over the years so what I'm doing is I'm just going to remove it anyway Sorry for the jittery in this, but this uh, is really on there. And now it's coming off pretty freely now. But if this thing was leaking with that rag there, I want to make sure that uh, whatever I can do to help clean the threads, to seal it correctly, uh, make sure there's no leaks of fuel anywhere. Um, Go from there. <laughs> 